What's going on guys, your boy Blazinair here, and today in this video, I have so many boxes, I cannot even put them down in my basement. This box, this box, and that third box, we'll go downstairs, we'll get them all opened, and in this video, I want you guys to see how much potential profit I'm going to be making on these pairs, as well as how much I bought them for and why I bought them. That being said, let's go to the basement and get to the vibes. Yo, we brought everything down, let's start bringing them out one by one. I think there's like a total of 25 plus items here, and like I said, I want to give you the reasons why I bought the item and hopefully I can provide some insight to you as the viewer on making some money in this game. All right, so we're gonna start it off with a good old little Nike Dunk size 10, and this one's gonna be one you guys might see a couple times throughout this video, which is the Community Garden. I think this shoe right here is definitely gonna go up in resale value, considering a lot of these dunks with some insane prints on them have been really getting notoriety, especially with this color palette. A lot of those earthier tones, like the greens and the darker blues, no browns or anything like that, but very easy to match and simple looking shoe. Expecting to make about 300 on a pair like this. And it's mainly good for those that order big mystery boxes and we gotta put some size 10s in there that are worth a little more. The Yeezy Foam Runner is certainly a shoe we do not show very often at all on the channel and that's just because your boy doesn't have a pair of them all right yes they feel very comfortable but i just cannot get behind either a rocking this in public or b rocking this in the house i just don't see it but this one right here this colorway goes absolutely crazy i think it is also an overseas colorway the tie-dye looks really beautiful i gotta give it to kanye on that one can expect to make about 280 on this one got a super clean community garden in a nine paid 207 probably will also turn around maybe 275 300 on them being a charlotte hornets fan i gotta say i'm a big fan of a shoe that looks like the hornets and it's also so the kind of the same wrap as my car as well the blue fury nike sb dunk what do you guys think of this with a little icy bottom this one we got to give a good clean up to paid about 175 for this pair we'll probably expect about 200 for it paid 100 bucks for these cool gray lows right here love this shoe and it'll certainly be an easy mover jordans uh they fly paid 85 bucks for this bape jacket it does have the tag which is a great sign it's in an xl it's got a pretty unique logo on the back i'd say this is probably worth about 150 160 we definitely do great on vape 92 bucks for this it's like a blanket it definitely is what it feels like but it's a sweatshirt and it's a vape sweatshirt we'll probably make about 150 on this one right here sometimes with vape when it's under 100 bucks and it's brand new just i know i could sell it for over 100 so it's pretty much an instant buy i'd say a sweet spot for a nicer condition sb is about 100 to 120 bucks to buy to flip so this right here is a red and silver metallic nike sb high the mork and mindy is the official color the way it once had an original icy bottom and not a lot of people have these on their radar just because it's such a low-key shoe that came out over 10 years ago a shoe like this could sell for about 180 all the way up to 250 and i've had the box or maybe even a brand new pair even more than that simple baby milo tees that we can grab for under 50 bucks we'll try and sell for anywhere from 60 to 70 spent 60 on this babe head we'll love grabbing these for under 100 because we'll probably sell it for 100 and for 70 bucks a really good condition college logo as well in an XL, which is the American equivalent of a large. Super good buy. Love grabbing these. Should expect about 120 for this one. Just a simple Bape Skull and Bones logo. Probably will get around 110 for this. It's an XL, so I paid 80. The Red October CMFT Dunk. Absolutely love grabbing these kinds of pairs because I'm just speculating that anything Red October related with this Kanye thing and the fact that the Netflix documentary is coming out will make these go up in value. I have noticed over the last few weeks, pairs have been going off the market. I think obviously say i'm buying a good bit of them but there's a lot of interest around this as well i know y'all have been saying a lot about blaze you've been grabbing some mid we're gonna turn up the heat today right here we have a pair of off-white dunks and i love grabbing dunks that are overseas because they don't come out in the states and this pair right here certainly i have not seen very many pairs of the lot number 19. I'm going to turn down the exposure on the camera so you guys can really get a good glimpse at this right here. This is just a beautiful suede pair. Navy and orange. Definitely great color contrast with the gray orange tag orange on there. This is like one of the easier ones to wear. It's also got the Japanese tag on there because these are the overseas versions. And anytime I can grab an off-white dunk, I will. They're probably worth in the upwards of the 500s, maybe like 520, 525. And I'm just going to have them for people and customers that spend a lot more so I could put them in their boxes. All right, community garden. We're gonna do a clip here. We're gonna do a clip in the middle and then we're gonna do a clip in the bottom here, all right? I'm gonna say the size, 
how much I paid, and how much it goes for all in the same time. Size 9, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, So that was four pairs of community gardens. Four times 300 is 1,200 bucks, and expecting 350 times four. About 1,400 return. I have all these different pairs and sizes because different customers buy different price personalized mystery boxes. Therefore, I want to have a community garden for each different person. All right, and then we got to show some love to the bay size. Ooh, got all the different Air Force components i forgot these have like all the detachables should expect about 425 on this pair right here the travis scott air forces it's always good to grab a heat in the smaller sizes you never know who needs a fire pair for a wifey i was actually able to bring this box down the stairs because well it was a little bit smaller got a bape jacket right here paid 340 ape shall never kill ape very simple you guys have seen many of these over the years expecting about 400 just need some good clothes to fill in some of these boxes where people want clothes too paid 352 for this green camo shirt and it should bring about 400 as well just really looking for like i said those boxes that have higher values right here we got a red shark crew neck and an xl it's always good to have the bigger xls should expect about 250 on this one pay 200 got a size nine and a half off white dead stock dunk lot number 48 i absolutely love the color contrast on this pair i do have a personal that royal blue tag is certainly something else and i paid a good price 400 should expect 500 and then bam another one of these size nine and a half same exact ones you saw earlier just a ds version size nine and a half going for about five bucks now a lot of our clientele is about the same age as me so 22 23 years old and these cherry foam posits right here certainly stick out to me because i remember back in middle school i was collecting pairs just like this and it brings a lot of nostalgia to people especially for me as a seller when i can buy them for under 150 paid 115 for these i think i can get these off for around maybe 175 or 200 and the reason for that is because this is one of the og colorways of the foam posit it's got that very small nike swoosh right there which is super important because that distinguishes the type of model it was and this was one of the most sought after shoes for literally years newer 2020 dunk right here this emulates very much so a dunk that probably came out 10 years ago the colorway the type of material used i think that's why i think i paid the high for them 180 because i'm pretty sure i could sell them for like 220 even in a used condition nine and a half it's a very common and easy size to sell now of course we're going to save the best for last we got a couple more pairs coming up guys you're going to be very shocked one of these pairs is major uh this one is also major in the fact that it's another community garden and a ten and a half they should sell for about 400 being that they're dead stock this was probably one of my best community garden buys page 305 for the syracuse dunk low this pair even a brand new one goes for like six seven hundred so used probably is going to sell for about 450 you will notice though these do have a rep box 325 paid for a size 7 overseas version of an off-white dunk it's going to be the lot 47 i swear you're really getting some of the most beautiful colors from the overseas factories bay size seven should move very quickly guys saving the best for last right here we have a nike sv if you enjoyed this video leave a like and if you definitely want to see more of this series comment down below and subscribe it definitely really shows me as a creator you guys do care we're putting in a lot of work on this series so leaving a like definitely shows me as a creator i'm doing a decent job guys for the final pair we have a nike sb dunk low strange love this is going to be one of the most fire pairs we're going to be whipping out of the blazing their kitchen today it's a special collaboration between todd bradshrew and sean cliver and this is for the strange love skate shop you'll notice some really sick features and the fact that one there's going to be some little hearts on the bottom of the sole you also have a really dope insole which oof i don't know if that's gonna be able to be easy to grab let's see the little skateboard in there we're gonna have to zoom in velour materials just super high quality and a really dope side patch embroidery with a little skull heart let me know what you guys think we're gonna get them cleaned up on the bottom I'm sure we'll be able to grab a lot of that dirt out of the shoe and make them look pretty nice. Try and get maybe around a thousand for them used with the OG box and everything. Let me know what you guys think of this video and this is how much we made and spent. So hopefully we did pretty good. I hope to see you guys again next week. It's your boy Blazonary and we are signing out. Stay positive and peace out.